is breathtaking. And the ray traced lighting, you couldn't do this with traditional rasterization. You could only get this kind of lighting realism with ray tracing. I don't know how many millions of rays are being cast through the scene and bounced around to accurately accurately render these these lights, but it's it's unreal. And this could only be achieved with the power of something like the RTX 3080 or the 3090, I suppose, but um, anything else simply wouldn't be able to do it and uh, maintain uh, this resolution and frame rate. All right, let's keep moving on. All right, we've got some more friends here. Just putting them to sleep, helping them get a good night's rest with our dippy dabby shotgun. Dingly dingly, dingles to the head. Uh, I'll make sure we pick up all this stuff here. And the colored lighting too. Unbelievable. Okay. You know, I'm a little that uh, when we get to, you know, some of the more intense scenes with the more, more, uh, you know, characters on screen at once, that we might start to uh, see a bit of a slowdown, even on this beast of a card. Um, so, you know, overclocking is obviously an option that I'm going to look into uh, to make sure that Doom runs at its best. But um, I, I also wonder if NVIDIA is considering uh, DLSS support for Doom. Um, DLSS, you might be familiar with, uh, is a, a deep learning super sampling. It's basically a way of rendering the game at a lower resolution, like, I don't know, um, like 200 by, you know, 160 or something like that. And then using AI to upscale it to, uh, the full resolution, like 320 by 200. Uh, and that reduces the, the load on the GPU, but uh, retains the image quality quite well, as a matter of fact. Um, I bet you it would do a great job of keeping this incredibly crisp, sharp, um, visual, you know, image quality that you see here. Um, I bet you it would be hard to tell the difference between, you know, this and the DLSS upscaled version, honestly. Uh, now, as I recall, uh, there's a secret right here. It's been a long time uh, since I since I uh, was in this level, but it, it, I think there is one right here. Let's find out. Oh yes, there is. So this is the courtyard that I was mentioning, uh, which we, we could have accessed over here through that door previously, but uh, instead we will uh, we will do it this way. Picked up the mega armor. All right. Just look how realistic that view model is. I can't get over. I mean, it looks like I'm literally holding the gun. Like it's sprouting out of my chest. Like I'm for real. Unbelievable. And the face, the Doom guy's face, down in the center of the screen there. Uh, I, it, it looks like like uh, HD. FMV, like it looks like they just captured a real actor uh, on film, but that is rendered in real time, including the facial animations and uh, and uh, all those subtle details, all of that rendered in real time. Uh, just mind blowing. Those guns make such a nice sound, and then when you hit those barrels and uh, and the zombie soldiers, they just kind of explode into bloody gibbs like that. It's um, it's almost like a, kind of a squishy, like almost like an eating sound. I don't know if some of you might be into that kind of ASMR. Not me specifically, but uh, I know some people like it a lot. Like uh, Mokupon video is very popular. It kind of makes me think of that. Um, now there's a couple of other secrets in this level, I believe. And I think if we head back out here, we might find one. Yeah, right here. All right. The other thing that makes this super relaxing is the music. It's quite 
idyllic, isn't it? And also, the fidelity is, is incredible, if you listen to it. It's, uh... The quality is immense. Honestly, just it matches the, the visual quality of the game perfectly. Uh, now I believe we've got one more secret, and I think we have to head back here to trigger it. We just kind of do a little loop here, and then uh, come back here, and then check back here. Yeah, there we are. Okay. Nice. Bunch of armor pickups and all that kind of thing. Also, the models, if you look for these items, um, are just incredible. I want to say that those are probably, I don't know, 16 by 16 or something like that. Um, that's a lot of pixels to render, you guys. And, and just think about how many of them are on screen at a time along with the enemies. Um, unbelievable. Okay. Alright, well, I think that's gonna finish that. So, uh, let's, uh, let's hit this button. Oh, what? An unbelievable tour de force. That's just absolutely next generation. I, I, I honestly, this feels like a, um, like a paradigm shift in terms of the graphics that are, are ca um, you know, we're capable of that our that our systems can render. Um, and if this is, you know, uh, evidence for what the future is going to look like, I, we're going to be in like full immersion, like, you know, full dive, you know, neural interface sims pretty soon. This is some mind blowing stuff. Um, we managed to hundred percent that level which is pretty awesome. Uh, I hope you guys found it uh, nice and tingly, tingly, relaxing. Uh, like I said, the, the pace of the game, uh, the music, the visuals, the, the sound effects, the, the soundscape that it, uh, that it creates is just so... It just, uh, it lulls you right to sleep. Um, and this menu art absolutely brilliant. Alright, um, of course we didn't beat the bar time because, well, let's be real here, we're taking our time through these levels as I do, you know, with any good ASMR game. It's, it's all about slowing down, smelling the roses, experiencing the little details that the, the developers have, have placed throughout the levels and things that you might miss if you're going too fast, so. Uh, so we'll do one more of these. I think our next level is the nuclear plant, um, which sounds like a really chill place to take a relaxing wander here. So let's do that. So let's head over 
here and see what we can find. These guys look like they need they need some tingles applied directly to the head. Um, oh, we've got look at the expansive outdoor areas. Gosh, the scale of these levels is unbelievable. Let's uh. Let's head on out there and experience the great outdoors. Whoa. This is this is some truly next level stuff. I mean, you know, we've all seen Skyrim, we've all seen Red Dead Redemption too. I mean, they do some pretty impressive stuff with expansive outdoor spaces and and, uh, you know, distance rendering, LOD stuff, but, like, look at the level of detail in those distant mountains. Like, I can't, uh, I can, it looks like there is no LOD, you know, going on here. It's just all rendered in full detail right to the horizon. Unbelievable. This looks like it'll be really relaxing. We've got a chain gun. Just imagine all the little dippy dappies, dippy dappy, dippy dappy, dippy dappies, as we apply tingles directly to the heads of these these uh, friends who honestly really need to really need to relax. Just relax. Send them off to dreamland with our little friend here. Oh, it's amazing. Look at I love the sound of the, the barrels too when you hit them. Super chill. Super chill. These imps here. They uh the sort of guttural sounds they make are are pretty relaxing. Um, let's head on in here. The, another remarkable aspect of this game is the the uh, the quality of the animations. Like if you watch watch the way the characters move, they are exceptionally true to life, uh, very natural. And I'd say there's like at least three frames per animation, you know, per maybe four. I mean, how do you have, like, it's, it's hard to imagine fitting all that in the VRAM, honestly. Um, that's what the 10 gigabytes is for, you know? And I know 10 gigabyte meme, people say 10 gigs is not enough VRAM to run uh, a game like Doom at, you know, 320 by 240, they say it's not future-proofed or something like that, you know, but um, I, I think this is pretty uh, revealing. I think this shows that those people just don't know what they're talking about, and, you know, there's a, a, a GPUs tend to over-provision VRAM, you know, they, they ask for more than they actually need, but the actual VRAM usage is going to stay, you know, below 10 gigabytes despite the intense quality of these textures. Um, now, resolutions beyond 320 by 240, if you can imagine pushing it that far, um, you know, that maybe gets a little more uh, dicey. But, um, but yeah, I mean, who's going to need that? I mean, that's like, a, no one's ever going to need to play at those resolutions. That's higher than the human eye can see, you know, and same with the frame rates, you know, over 30, like that's just beyond what humans can perceive, so I don't think we're ever going to need to run at anything more than 200p30, right? So I think the uh, RTX 3080 with its 10 gigabyte uh, VRAM arrangement ought to, uh, ought to stand the test of time just fine. Gosh, are you guys seeing these lighting effects in here? Like, I, I, the dynamic lighting 
is just next level. The way it accurately illuminates every surface, reflects and refracts. This is what ray tracing is all about. These are natural effects that you could not get any other way. You can't fake this stuff. You just can't fake this stuff. Alright, I think we found what we need to find in here, but I think we got one more secret over here. Right about here. There we go. It's music, I'm grooving. I'm grooving. All right. Okay, they do look really relaxed when they're on the ground like that, don't they? I think we've done a good thing here helping them get some sleep. Uh, but what we do want is this up on this special stool here. You thought that uh, the chain gun was relaxing. Just wait till you hear this, baby. It's going to send you straight to Dingledown. Straight to Dingledown. There we are. Oh. God, it's just, it's, I, I can't. It's just uh, something about that sound uh, tingles right up the back of the head. It just lulls me to sleep. And uh, combined with these gorgeous vistas. Beautiful, beautiful mountains in the distance. It's perfect. It's like, I don't know that there is a better ASMR game than Doom. Uh, nor one that that looks as unbelievable. Okay. Uh, now we just gotta find our way back out of here. There we are. And again, look at the shadowing. Look at the 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 bodies that are in the light that are properly illuminated. Incredible. Okay. Um, where did we go? This way now, up these stairs, and uh, I think if we go in here, we can just uh, visit this little room here where we help those friends sleep before. Let's uh, head back. Okay. Gosh, I really hope we get to use this chainsaw. I feel like. Uh, you know, it's, it's lovely to... Oh, here we go. Oh, that's what I was looking for. But we might have to switch it up a little bit just to, uh... Just to clear this space here. The chainsaw, unfortunately, is only good for up-close and personal tingles. Um, it requires quite a bit of, uh... Personal... Personal attention to use effectively. Like this. Personal attention is one of my favorite ASMR triggers. Okay, I think that's where we just came down from. I think we want to go this way. Uh, flip the switch. There we go. Head back here. I think this just comes around. Yes, it does. Oh, we've got some more of that dynamic lighting going on. I feel like I'm actually here. It's unbelievable. And look at that. We've just about reached the end of the level. Oh, it's a tingle fest. Just amazing. Oh, and one last... One last friend to put to sleep. And they're all blissed out. Just tingling to sleep. Uh, I, I sometimes I wonder if, if this game was maybe developed with ASMR in mind, you know, 
It's hard to imagine it being any other way. I, I hear that John Carmack is actually a big fan of ASMR. Alright. Oh. Uh, one last friend to help out. And then we're done. Look at that. Oh, I think we missed a secret in there somewhere. That's too bad. Well, that's all right. We still saw most of what there was to see. And, uh, and there was a lot to see. It was honestly, uh, pretty revelatory. Uh, what, what is capable, or know, what is possible with the power of this RTX 3080. Uh, all, all I can say is it's pretty obvious this was, you know, uh, six months and a thousand dollars well spent. Um, I've never seen or experienced anything quite like this, and I think this is uh, really representative of what we can expect to see over the next few years. You know, the bar has been set very high here, and uh, and it's clear that this would only be, you know, possible with the power of, you know, uh, the RTX 3000 series and its advanced, you know, ray tracing, RT cores, tensor cores, um, and all its advanced graphical capabilities. Um, and and like I was saying, Doom is the perfect ASMR showcase for this, because not only is it beautiful, um, but it's also incredibly deeply relaxing and, uh, and tingly. This is certainly uh, something that uh, I'm going to be doing more of on the channel here. Uh, so please let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Uh, and if you would like to see more of it, I hope that you found it uh, enjoyable. And of course, I hope you found it relaxing. And I wish each and every one of you a very happy April Fools. Thank you for watching, my friends. I look forward to having you back here next time. Bye for now.